Hi, my name is Giannis from Hot Money Trader. Oh, today's lesson is going to be about the five laws of money. It may sound simple, but money do have rules and they have laws. And those laws have to be followed. And they're not, if they're not followed, you cannot really manage money. Money is like a uh, legal system that you and I follow, right? So if you break the law, you go to jail. The same with money. If you don't follow the rules and the laws that accomplish money, you cannot be able to get and retain money the way you want to. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Five Laws of Money. Hi, Introductions. Welcome to Hot Money Traders, where future investor comes to get inspired. Let's get started, okay? The Five Laws of Money. The first law states that money comes gladly and in increasing quantity to those who will put it, or put away one-tenth of their earning to create an estate for their future and their family. In other words, Never pass up the opportunity to save. Before you know it, you have money in your bank account you wouldn't even imagine. Put away one tenth, one tenth. If you have $10, put away a dollar, right? So it don't have to be a hundred dollars, it don't have to be 20 or $200 or a million, right? So one tenth of anything is a lot, okay? Put that away. The second law states that money work diligently and contently for the wise owner who can find means to multiply it. You must find employment for your money in essence. Think of your money as little soldiers on the battlefield that you sent to conquer other soldiers and bring them back as prisoners of war. In this case, those prisoners of war as more one dollar bill. The more prisoners you have, the more wealthy you will become. I hope that makes sense to you. The third law of money says that money clink to those who protect it and invest it under the advice of experts. It is never a bad idea to seek financial advice from those who know more about investing. You are in control of your destiny, so take advantage. Have you ever sit back and think about the opportunity you miss by not asking for help when you need it. Here is something you have to here is something to keep in mind. You don't know what you don't know. The fourth law of money states money slips away from those who invest it in businesses or purposes which they know nothing about. Now ask you one question. Have you ever went, went to the store and buy food products or any clothing product that you really haven't worn before or don't know anything about? No. So never buy anything or sell anything you know nothing about. This is a rabbit hole, a rabbit hole you don't want to go down, believe me. For example, before you before you buy a stock. And if that stock happened to be a gold, diamond, silver, zinc, whatever commodities that you're buying, read about it first. Do your research to see what others are saying about that particular entity or that particular company. If it is a trade that you're conducting, look for the financials of that company or that entity. Look at the company's balance sheet. Look how long have they then in business, is there any major announcement in the world? Those are the sort of things you need to be looking for. You get the point. Today's lesson is inspired by the richest man in Babylon from Audible. I will leave the link below. You can click that and, and check it out. Believe me, it's a good read. You'll enjoy it. The fifth law of money is money free from, the, from any man who who forces impossible earnings, or who, fo who follow the alluring advice of tricksters 
and schemers or who trusted in his own inexperience and romantic desire in investing. So in other words, if you don't know anything about money, then try not to invest it. Ask for advice. It's always a good thing to ask if you don't know. If any investment doesn't sound legit, chances are it probably is not. You have been saving this money for your family for a long time. Wouldn't it make sense for you to invest it wisely? These are the laws, the five laws of money. Now go do great things. If you enjoyed today's section, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future lessons. Thank you.